Good morning guys, Anjani Kumar here, dealing power system 2 for third year electrical students. I hope uh, all of our students are safe, so definitely I think, uh, I thought that uh, each and every student uh, following my videos, I'm sure of, I'm sure of that. In the last session, we discussed about insulator concept, right? Uh, we just uh, completed SAG, tension, SAG calculations and some problems, right? After that, we started insulator concept, right? In that insulator, what is the definition of insulator, right? Uh, what is the mechanical, what is the properties of insulators, right? And what are the different types of insulators? That's, uh, that's what we discussed, right? So, basically, what is an insulator? So, insulator is nothing but it's a device which provides proper insulation between the conductor and the supporters, right? If you won't provide any insulation, what happens? The current from the conductor that can pass through the pole and it will enter to the earth. Definitely, if a person touches that pole or a support, definitely will get a severe electrical shock. So, that's why it is efficient to provide proper insulation between the conductor and the supporters, right? What are the mechanic, what are the properties of insulation? Just we discussed about uh, what are the properties of insulation, each and every insulator that it has some high mechanical strength, high dielectricity, high uh, temperature coefficients, high, high temperature coefficients, non-porous and uh, doesn't have any cracks, right? Uh, doesn't have any uh, impurities, right? These are the properties of insulator that we discussed in detail in the, in the last session. After that, uh, we discussed about uh, the materials which are used in insulators, right? Basically, nowadays, uh, each and every insulators uh, that we are using only porcelain materials, right? There are different materials out there, the combination of uh, steatite, graphite. Uh, so, with all these combination also, we can use uh, glass. Oh, we all combinations also, we can use in order to design uh, insulators but basically we are using porcelain why because whatever the temperature if the temperature increases my porcelain won't melt so this is th that's why with this property only we are using porcelain in our insulators right right now different types now in this session we are going to deal about uh, the different types of insulators right that means the efficiency of a transmission system depends on what type of insulators that are that you are going to choose i repeat the efficiency of a transmission system that can be increased by whatever the insulators that you are going to choose right so that's why the basically we have four types of insulators in our uh, daily life either transmission distribution and all these things right so what are the different types so you know that uh, there are four types of insulators the first one is pin type insulators all right suspension type insulators all right strain type insulator shockle type insulators and last uh, this is not that much important that but we discussed about so that is called egg and stay insulators right so basically how many types of insulators there are four types of insulators that is pin type insulators right suspension type insulator strain insulators right shockle insulator and egg insulator or uh, strain insulators right now in this session we'll discuss in detail what is a pin type insulator right so what is a pin type insulator right now i am going to start a pin type insulator right so i am not using my uh, my sketches on all these things because uh, this is very a uh, theoretical theoretical thing right uh, if you if i explain like a graphical representation it will be more uh, more helpful for you for you guys uh, for easily understand so that's why i am choosing these type of ppts to explain you right So, what is a pin type insulators? Right. 
so definitely each and every insulator not the pin type insulators are also designed with the help of porcelain materials or you can use a glass glass material plastic materials polymer materials or whatever the materials that can be used but basically we are using pin type materials we are using porcelain all right so why we are calling a pin type material pin type insulators means the shape of this type of insulators is like a pin model right the shape of this material is like a pin model we'll see how the pin type insulator look like you you are seeing each and if you you would you would daily life also in a distribution system how the pin type insulators right so these are the pin type insulator like you will you, you are seeing so these type of uh, lookings is like a pin pin model representation so that's why we are we can call it as a pin type insulator right so which is having a porcelain layers so these layers are porcelain layers right so the top which is having that we can call it as a groove top name antaru groove antaru right the top which is made up of steel or aluminium whatever it may be so the top name antaru groove antaru so these are porcelain layers so these 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 whole in the form of pin type representation so that's why these type of insulators we can call it as a pin type insulators all right so how the pin type insulators are going to be installed that means you will see we'll see so these are the representation of a pin type insulators all right so this is a pin type insulators all right which is connected to cross arm so this is cross arm so this is insulator and this is a pole right the insulator pin type insulator which is connected to the cross arm and th that cross arm is connected to the pole that means we are providing proper insulation between the conductor and the supporters so that's why i'm 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 choosing that i'm i'm uh, i'm showing that uh, how these type of insulators are going to be connected we'll see right all right so these are the porcelain layers and this this we can call it as a groove all right so our conductor which is surrounded by the groove so it can be passes through a groove see i'll explain so whatever the transmission line high current whatever it may be the transmission line which is passed through the uh, groove and it will be connected like this so that means whatever the pin this is a pin na the pin which is connected to the cross arm and which is connected to the pole that means your conductor is here your cross arm pole is here we are providing proper insulation with the help of insulator i hope it's clear right proper insulation so this is these are made up of a porcelain layers right so this is called a groove whatever the conductor high voltage conductor that can be passed through the groove itself we'll see one more figure is there so this like now this is a pin type insulator so this is a pin type insulator this is a pin na which is connected to cross arm and which is connected to poles you uh, you will see like in a distribution system meku nee inti daggara poles untai kada poles which is having a cross arms untai cross arm paina oka ఒక ఇన్సులేటర్ ఉంటుంది దాని మీద కండక్టర్ ఇలా పోతూ ఉంటుంది రైట్ సో దిస్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఎ గ్రూ దిస్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఎ గ్రూ సో వేర్ ద కండక్టర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ప్రాసెస్ లైక్ దిస్ రైట్ ఇంకొక వైర్ ఉంది ఇక్కడ సో దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఇన్ ఆఫ్ గ్రూ ఫర్ సపోజ్ ఈస్ దెర్ ఎనీ లీకేజ్ హ్యాపెన్ ఈస్ దెర్ ఎనీ లూజ్ కనెక్షన్స్ అండ్ హ్యాపెన్ సో దట్స్ వై సో వీ షుడ్ మేక్ అనదర్ మెటీరియల్ ద సేమ్ మెటీరియల్ విచ్ విచ్ ద కండక్టర్ బిల్ట్ ఆ మెటీరియల్తో మనం ఏం చేస్తాము అనీల్ చేస్తాం అనీల్ చేస్తాం అంటే దాన్ని బాగా చుట్టేస్తాం అంటే లూజ్ కనెక్షన్స్ కానీ ఆ గ్రూవ్ చుట్టూ ఆ వైర్కి ఏమన్నా లూజ్ కనెక్షన్స్ కానీ అట్లాంటివి ఏమన్నా ఉన్నా అవి ఏమన్నా టైట్ చేయడానికి వన్ 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 టైప్ ఆఫ్ వైర్ విచ్ ఈస్ మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ సేమ్ కండక్టర్ మెటీరియల్స్ దట్ కెన్ బీ గ్రూవ్డ్ అవుట్ దేర్ రైట్ so this uh, this is a way how the pin type insulators are shown right i'll explain one more time the pin insulator pin type insulators so these are uh, made up of porcelain glass uh, steatite whatever it may be polymer whatever it may be but basically we are using porcelain right 
on the top of a pin type insulator which is having a groove where the conductor is going to be passed right after that these type of insulators that can be used for a for a voltage less than 33 kV very very important so pin type insulators which is used for a voltage less than 33 kV that means like a distribution system in a distribution system only we are using these type of pin type insulators right less than 33 kV right i'll i'll see right so these are the pin type insulators uh, different forms so the porcelain which are placed in different uh, layers like uh, so this is a pin type insulator where the cross arm is going to be connected over here and the pole is going to be connected like like this so, so you you will see these type of insulator in your distribution system where the conductor is going to be flowed like this right so the basically this, this is used for a transmission this is used in a distribution system where the voltage is less than 33 kV only so beyond 33 kV if you use the if you use these type of insulators those must be more economical all right it doesn't have it is it doesn't distribute it doesn't depends on that that much load that's why so we won't use these type of insulator for greater than 33 kV voltages all right so okay you place a pin type insulator but uh, if you place a pin type insulator there will be a chance of uh, insulation failure right i'll explain with this examples right there will be a chance of insulation failure how so you have to design your insulation insulator without a without that much failure so how you can treat it as we'll discuss here so there is a there are two ch two two chances of failures in insulators basically there are several chances but uh, uh, right now we are going to discuss about uh, only two chances so what are the chances the first one is a flash over right so in order to design your insulators you have to consider these type these items also so the first second one is a puncture all right so what are the insulation failures so what are the two conditions so what are the two chances for insulation failures means there are two chances first one is a flash over second one is a puncture right now we'll discuss about how the flash over occurs that means if you are going to design your insulator you must consider these type of things in your design considerations right first we'll discuss about flash over what is a flash over all right now your pin type insulator is look like this one right which is having a porcelain layers right so different porcelain layers right and one more uh, groove is there so where the conductor is going to be flows like this all right now your porcelain layers are very smooth construction all right means it's it will it will be a little bit uh, not little bit rough it will be very smooth construction all right if it is a rough what happen means whatever the dust particles whatever the dust particles around the air it will be stay there right you can a dust particle which is an go a motor chap right but suppose it is not smooth it is not rough 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 so that dust particles are not here right so dust particles are not here okay you can see the conductor pass just to know all right so dust air pardon the ante dan chuttu oka some sort of conducting material is going to be developed so that is nothing but some sort of conducting materials right now here you are pin which is connected to the cross arm which is connected to the pole right so whenever all your porcelain layer impact with the dust particles what happen this current flow from the conductor it will enter through a dust and it will enter into the pin and it will enter into the cross arm and it will enter into the pole what happened if a, if a person um, touches that pole he get a severe electrical shock so this phenomena we can call it as a flash over i hope it's clear listen in a pin type insulator there are two chances of insulator failure 
So what are the two chances? So that we can call it as a flashover and second one is a puncture. So what is a flashover? Flashover means the each and every pin type insulators that is have a porcelain layer. All the porcelain layers must be in a smooth fashion. All right. If it is a rough fashion, what happens? The impurities or dust around the air that can be stays at the uh, top of the porcelain layer, each and every porcelain layer. So these all formation will create a conduction. Right. So when when a conductor passes through the groove, that current also passes through the dust particles and enter into the cross arm. So then will then the cross arm which is connected to the pole now then that will enter into the pole jet itself. So the pole gets pole enter into the electrical field. So if the person suddenly touches that pole, definitely will get severe electrical shock. So this is called a, this phenomena we can call it as a flashover. So in order to design your consider design your uh, insulator you must consider this type of flashover is there any flashover occur in the system but the flashover which is having slowly consideration because a uh, dust particle air padali air padtu undali anni anni layers of the power a dust particle then only the total current will flow through the cross arm right slow ga air padtu undali so that means uh, slowly heat out untadi insulator then the insulator will get destroyed that slowly happen so in that meantime you have to realize and it will be some safe considerations you have to take care on that insulator that means be that that we can avoid it all right so that is about a flashover now what is a puncture we'll see it's very very important now we'll see puncture so without graphical representation you won't understand what is a flashover what is a puncture and what is a insulator how the design of insulator and all these things you won't uh, uh, understand so that's why i'm taking these type of ppts so with this i am i'm explaining right now what is a puncture puncture also one of the chance of uh, insulation failure in the insulators right i'll discuss what is a puncture second one is a puncture puncture ante em ledu all right you will see you will see these are the porcelain layers na all right din kem chestao groove ni fit chestao that means groove ni assemble chestao dintlo assemble chese tappudu all right ikkada groove untada ee groove ni lokal ki fit chese tappudu dintlo konni cracks avachu right so dintlo konni cracks raavachu cracks vachina appudu em avutadi it will be breakable ee rendu break ayipothayi right ikkada oka pin untada ee pin vachesi directly which is connected to cross arm na which is directly connected to poles na eppudaithe ee cracks valna ee cracks is nothing but we can call it as a puncture see one more time i am explaining groove is nothing but steel rod na steel rod nu em chestavu dinloki move chestavu మూవ్ చేసావు ఏదర్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఏదర్ ఏదర్ హోల్స్ రూపంలో యూ హ్యావ్ టు పుష్ దిస్ వన్ రైట్ ఎప్పుడైతే పుష్ చేస్తున్నావు దేర్ మైట్ బీ ఎ క్రాక్స్ రైట్ దేర్ మైట్ బీ యుల్ గెట్ సమ్ క్రాక్స్ ఓవర్ దేర్ సో వాట్ హ్యాపన్ ఇఫ్ ఎ క్రాక్స్ ఓవర్ దేర్ లిటిల్ బిట్ సో దీస్ క్రాక్ విత్ దీస్ క్రాక్స్ యువర్ యువర్ ఇన్సులేటర్ విల్ బీ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు టూ పార్ట్స్ రైట్ ఫర్ ఫర్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్టర్ సమ్ టైమ్ so after uh, after one year or uh, two years what happen your insulator will be divided into two two ways so what happen if the at that condition directly you pin which is connected to cross arm which is connected to pole so what happen this is a groove na the conductor will flow like this na whatever the current in the groove it will be flows to the pin it will enter into the cross arm it will be enter into the pole so with that there will be a severe electric shock so this is one type of failure so that we can call it as a puncture so what the, it doesn't have any time so if there is any cracks definitely the puncture will be happen so which one so before destroy insulator first of the flashover will occur right so first which one is occur the flashover will occur after the puncture will come the flashover and it will take some time so in that time you will replace it 
but puncture means you don't have any time at the time when it will when the cracks are happened you don't know definitely your your insulator will broken in two type uh, two ways and after that the pin is directly connected to cross arm and after that is directly connected to the poles definitely the current directly goes to the pole that means if a person shock ele- severe electric shock happen so that is called a pin puncture the flash over it will take little bit time the puncture it's uh, dangerous right you, you don't expect when the puncture is happened in the insulator right so these are the conditions these are the things uh, you have to note it down when designing the pin type insulator so first uh, you have to note it down the safety factor so what is a safety factor you need to consider safety factor is nothing but flash over by puncture safety factor so this is very very important formula by designing your pin type insulator right so what is a safety factor means the flash over by puncture so which one is very fast the puncture is very fast puncture is a very dangerous so first you have to assume that the flash over will occur first after that the puncture will come why uh, while well, uh, what you call insulation failure choice of insulation failure what are the choice means first flash over will occur then the puncture will come so these are the safety factor for a pin type insulator the safety factor we have treated as 10 right the safety factor we are, we are, we, we just treated as 10 so that is a that is about a pin type insulator i hope uh, you clearly understand what is a pin type insulator let me discuss one more time <coughs> so what is a pin type insulator like uh, each and every insulator the pin type insulators also uh, made up of porcelain or glass or polymer or a steatite whatever it may be but basically in our real life the pin type insulators are made up of with porcelain right <coughs> so pin type insulator which is having a number of ports in layers right which is like a pin shaped uh, that's we can, that's why we can call it as a pin type insulator right on the top of a pin type pin type insulators so that we can call it as a groove where the conductor is going to be passed through the groove so for the conductor tightness another conductor the same conductor materials so you have to tighten it that uh, conductor ni adhe conductor material to కొంచెం టైట్ చేస్తావు గ్రూవ్లో లూజ్ లూజ్ కనెక్షన్స్ కానీ అట్లాంటి ఏమి ఏమి ఉండకుండా యూ హ్యావ్ టు టైట్ ఇట్ రైట్ సో దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ వీ కెన్ కో సో అనీల్ అనీల్డ్ సంథింగ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ మే బి యూ కెన్ కాల్ లైక్ దిస్ రైట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ సో దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ పిన్ టైప్ ఇన్సులేటర్స్ దట్ కెన్ బి యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ద వోల్ట్ ఈజ్ యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ద వోల్ట్ ఈజ్ లెస్ దాన్ థర్టీ త్రీ కేపీ సో వాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇట్ మీన్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ లెవెన్ కేవీ ఆల్సో ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ వన్ పిన్ టైప్ ఇన్సులేటర్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి బెస్ట్ యూజ్ ఫర్ లెవెన్ కేవీ థర్టీ త్రీ కేవీ లెస్ దాన్ థర్టీ త్రీ కేవీ సో దట్ మీన్స్ యూ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సులేటర్ ఫర్ ఎ డిస్క్ సో దట్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఎ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సిస్టమ్ సో దిస్ నాట్ యూజ్డ్ ఇన్ ఎ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ సిస్టమ్ రైట్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఇన్సులేటర్స్ దట్ కెన్ బి యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ లెస్ దాన్ థర్టీ త్రీ కేవీ దట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ పిన్ టైప్ ఇన్సులేటర్ what are the insulator that can be used for used in a distribution system that is nothing but a pin type insulators right how the pin insula- pin type insulators are connected it these th- these insulators that are connected these insulators that are connected to the cross arm and that are connected to the pole so like this like the passion like this passion these type of insulators that are going to be connected all right so this is about pin type insulator and there is a choice of uh, insulation failure uh in this pin pin type insulator so what are the choice there are two two choice uh for insulation failures so the first one is a, a flash over and the second one is a puncture so what is meant by a flash over flash over means each and every pores in layer in a pin type insulator much is much have a smoother surface if it is a rough definitely the dust particles will uh, will will stay around the Uh, surface of the porcelain layer so what happen those three layers if if you if you have a pin type if you have a pin type which is having three layers of porcelain right three layers of porcelain your dust is going to be stayed here 
right so when a dust particle stayed means some sort of conducting happened over there so when a conductor is going to be passed through a groom some current will be flow through the dust particle and will be enter into the cross arm and enter into the poles itself so definitely what happened the current will flow through the pole so this this phenomena so we just we don't want these type of uh, conditions right if a person um, touches that pole definitely will get severe electric shock so we need to avoid this type of failure so this phenomena we can call it as flash over so the time taken for the flash over is very high that means you have to so some sort of dust particle will around all the layers of the porcelain and only the total current will flow through the cross arm and it will enter into the pole so this type of phenomena we can call it as a flash over i hope it's clear what is a flash over itself right now we'll discuss about what is a puncture per suppose <clears throat> so this is a pin type insulator right so there is a groove groove means which is having a steel plate steel plate ni ikkada pettali ikkada pettal ante em cheyala steel steel plate loni deeniki tight cheyala tight chese tappudu there will be a cracks there will be a cracks on the insulator so when cracks happen what happen this insulator will broken for some after some time the insulator will broken right in little little bit time not that much time Oh, for a few months or a few uh, 10 months 2 months itself right your insulator will broken if, if the insulator will broken like this what happen this directly pin will be connected to the cross arm and it will be connected to the poles the current directly from the groove it's going to be transferred to the cross arm and it will be entered into the poles what happen the person will get severe electric shock so this type we can call it as a puncture which one is very fast the puncture is very fast your class flash over it will take a little bit of time it should be heated then only your conductor is generally your insulator will broken right so these are about uh, flash over and puncture so while designing your insulator you should you, you should must take care of, take care of uh, how much uh, safety factor you have to take in so what is a safety factor safety factor can be defined as a flash over by puncture right so you need to consider these things while designing your insulators pin type insulators so for a pin type insulator what is the safety factor that is equal to 10 volts 10 not the volts don't have any any measurements any units for this so what is the safety factor is 10 right so this is about uh, pin type insulators now we'll discuss about what is the advantages of pin type insulators so it is having high mechanical strength because the porcelain which is having a number of layers na the porcelain which is having number of layers so that means which is having high mechanical strength it is used for 33 kv up to 33 kv somewhat uh, uh, higher voltages like right? <clears throat> so it can be placed vertically horizontally so it can be placed like this if it is a cross arm like this it can be placed your pin type insulator here or else in type insulator here whatever it may be you will see your distribution system always you will place your um, pin type insulator horizontally not vertically right now <clears throat> it is a simple maintenance if there if there is any problem occur in a trans in in this type of insulator you just remove that and you can place uh, another pin type insulator it should be very easier right and what are the disadvantages disadvantages means this is nothing but flash over and puncture definitely you should consider flash over and puncture so it's very difficult to find out the safety factor while designing your pin type insulator and the second one is it is not for a transmission it is used for only a distribution right of around 33 kb right so if the uh, it consists of one pin na if any any breaks in the pin na, definitely we don't your insulator will get uh, easily damaged right so these are the disadvantages in a pin type insulator so so what are the advantages so the mechanical strength is very high because it is having a different layers and um, and after that it can be used for uh, 33 kg that means a distribution system uh, whatever the voltage it is uh, you can use these type of pin type insulators so this can be either vertically or horizontally you can place anywhere these type of insulator uh, right <coughs> 
and after that the maintenance is very easier if any problems occur you just directly remove that insulator and you can put another one itself and after that what is the disadvantage is it can be used for a distribution system only not for a transmission system and after the second one is um, whatever the pin that you are using if there is any cracks definitely the insulator will get damaged so we need to take in care of the pin which is connected to the cross arm all right uh, so this is used for uh, uh, 33k less than 33k beyond that it is more economical you don't be this type of insulator doesn't provide that much stress uh, stress for that much voltages right so this is about a pin type insulator uh, thank you for now in the next session we discussed about uh, remaining insulators string insulator strain insulator suspension insulator and shock insulator and the last uh, strain insulator of the right thank you very much